Hi, I'm Gareth Thomas. I'm a senior programmer working for Codemasters on Dirt 2. My name is Kevin O'Leary. I'm the product manager for Bellaforge at Electronic Arts here in Redwood City. I'm Chris Kingsley, CTO at Rebellion. My name is Nate Jones. I'm vice president of corporate and business development at Turbine. If gamers don't have DX11 hardware, they're going to miss out on a superior gaming experience from gameplay and graphical fidelity. The graphics are going to be brilliant. They're really going to push things further than anything anyone's seen before. Before when you might have uh, a normal map perhaps to, to trick the eye into thinking that the surface is lit with a lot of detail. Now we're, we're abandoning that and just going for full tessellation and then displacement mapping instead of normal mapping. Yeah. Gamers should go out and get DX11 today because it's going to vastly improve their visual performance of the computer, uh, giving them a much better overall experience. Turbine has two titles coming out that will support DX11 hardware, Lord of the Rings Online and, and Dungeons and Dragons Online. We're really excited at Rebellion. We've got Aliens vs Predator coming out on DirectX 11 next year. So Battleforge launched initially with DX10.1 support and we're taking that to DX11 later this year. In December we've got the PC version of Dirt 2 coming out. We still support the DirectX 9 path but all interested really in the DX11. We just released a Renegade pack expansion and we'll be having more free and paid packs coming out later this year. Why should gamers run out and buy DirectX 11 games? Because they're just going to be the best games you can get.